Hello, welcome to Tosh Cosmetics. My name is Brittany, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a really quick and easy winged eyeliner look using only eyeshadows and eyeliners. And this video is great for people that can't do the winged eyeliner look uh, with eyeliner, which that's me. Um, so I like to do it with eyeshadow, so I'm excited to show you a couple tips and tricks. Okay, so my first step is I'm going to take some tape. It could be any type of tape. Um, like scotch tape is what I'm using and I'm just gonna kind of put my fingers on it just to kind of take the initial like sticky off so it doesn't pull off all of my foundation that I already have on and I'm gonna put it right underneath my lower lashes and waterline oh my gosh right underneath here and then I'm going to slant it to about my lower eyebrow see that okay so first things first I'm gonna be taking iFix now I'm gonna be using this as a base I'm just gonna put just a little dab on my finger and I'm going to apply it to my entire eyelid the inner portion and up top it can be also used as a highlight too, which is really nice. Okay, now we have a nice even base. And I will be taking Diamonds and Pearls eyeshadow and my Cotton Candy Unicorn brush. And I'm going to be applying to the center portion the inner portion, excuse me, of my eye and moving it to the center. This gives it a nice glisteny, glowy look. And I'm only going up about half as well. Next, I'm going to take my crushed metal shadow in beige, beige, rage. And I'm going to be applying this on my outer portions of my eye, but still below the crease. And I kind of kick this on. It'll look nice and clean when I put the dark on. When I use a nice transition like this one. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking Black Delilah. And I'm going to be packing this onto my lower lid. And spreading it down and also backward toward the center. The nice thing about it is that you can go as dark as you want. I want to go about medium, so I'm going to dab a couple more times and pull to the center to do a nice blend. And the good thing about this tape is I can literally go as far over as I want, obviously not passing this bottom tape line, and it's going to look so clean when I pull it off still. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my white one more time, the diamonds and pearls, and I'm just, oh, where did I put it? 
I'm just gonna go one more time back over in the center just in case I got a little black just to soften it up and to keep it really bright. I think I'm gonna put a little under here too. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So I'm going to slowly pull my tape off. Ooh, I'll do it from up here. I'm gonna hold the skin and slowly pull down. So now see I have a really nice line, the cat eye winged eyeliner look that I am not good at. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my transition color again and I'm just going to brush it underneath my lower waterline so I can bring the coloring down. I'm gonna take a fine edged brush and I'm gonna take the black Delilah again and I'm also gonna pull this underneath my lash line. And one more time with my diamonds and pearls on the center portion. Oops, a little extra. Perfect. I'll be taking my Jazz Eyeliner Pencil and I'm just going to rub it on my waterline on the lower lashes as well as through my eyelashes just to give it a little extra oomph. Going to take a blending brush and just soften that up a little. Okay, I'm really liking my look. And then my one of my last steps is going to be the um, dual tip um, eyeliner, and I'm just going to take this thinner side. And I'm going to start on the inner corner and I'm just going to pull through. Make one straight line. And make sure I get it all the way to my lashes. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to be taking my Ultimate Volume Mascara. And I like to start on the lower lashes. And just rub back and forth and a couple spins underneath. You try to be really careful with not getting it actually on your skin. If you do, um, just grab a Q-tip and you can uh, get that off. I think I'm gonna go one more time on my lashes.
Now I did get a little bit on my top lid of my mascara, so <laughs> I'm just gonna dab the top just to get that off. Perfect. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos and tutorials. If you want to purchase any of the products you've seen in my video, please um, go on our website to www.toshcosmetics.com. And I really hope to see you soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.